So guys, what we have here is the Gannet for the Inspire 2. It's a little bit different from the Gannet for the Mavic and the Phantoms. It works different, it fits different, uh, it's got different software uh, loaded to work with the Inspire's unique light set, lighting setup. Um, installation is as easy as it is on a Mavic, if not easier to install it on your um, Inspire. It's a locating pin there and it simply clips in place like that. The sensor cable clips onto the arms like that and the sensor itself is mounted with a little o-ring around the motor base. There we go. It is as simple as that. Uh, let's first look at the software setup. This, the software setup on the Inspire is different than it is on the um, Mavic and the Phantoms. Uh, the lights work different. So what we do is we go to the remote settings and we program C1 or C2. I'm right-handed, so I program C2 um, to be advanced camera settings. If I had to go into advanced camera settings, which is also this button on the screen here, this menu would appear. If I press the C1 button now, that menu pops up and goes away. If I had to go into the smart LED settings, which is that menu, now that menu will appear when you press the button. And all you now have to do is switch on or off the lights. And this is how you let go of a gamut. Um, if you want to use a button on the actual remote uh, and you do have a camera attached, you can actually program it that the smart LEDs is turned on. Um, now, if I had to press record on the drone uh, and I had a camera attached, you have to have your camera attached then, uh, it would automatically switch off the arms, uh, the lights, which means that pressing record or taking a photo would release your load. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. To demonstrate it, let's just turn the drone on. go there we go if I now have to turn on and off the lights and the motors were spinning that's another thing the motors have to be spinning there the lights are on so the arm lights are now on and I can switch them off again there we go. Alright, that brings me to the next point, which is how you load them. Let's just switch the motors off. The drone doesn't like to be picked up with spinning motors. Alright. Like we said, this gannet works different. If you now had to turn that gannet on, it would cycle once and then gives you five seconds to load your line. There we go. Now it's loaded. And you have an indication light that comes on solid red to, sh to say that it is waiting to be activated. Now you have a set time period to give it light. If you now give it light by starting the motors, the indicating light starts to flash uh, uh, in a rapid succession. This now means it's armed. If the lights now on the arms had to be switched off, the gannets would open. So if I had a load attached there now, and I switch the arm lights off, there we go, it's open, it let go. And the indication light goes to a slow blip. And that is it, it's really as simple as that. Okay, now what we want to go do is, we want to go fly and drop Three and a half kilos. This is seven balloons, half a liter in each. That is just because we don't, we are not close to the ocean at the moment, and we cannot fly out a nice big boat. We also want to go deliver a six pack in a little cooler box, just to demonstrate that you can deliver anything with an Inspire, up to about three kilos maximum if you do not have your camera attached 
If you have your camera attached, drop that load down to about two and a half kilos to give you stable flight. Obviously, weather conditions uh, permitting. If you have strong winds that day, do not try and fly three kilos because the drone needs the power to fight the wind. And that is it guys, that is the new gannet for the Inspire. It fits like a glove, it installs very fast. Let me just switch off the drone. There we go. And to show you how easy it removes, is as easy as it installed. That's it. The whole little gannet weighs weighs in only at 55 grams. It is 10 grams heavier than the gannet for the Mavic and the uh, Phantoms. And that is because it is a little bit bigger. It needs a little bit more um, uh, brackets and so on to clip to the drone. Uh, and we made it a little bit different because now it has to be able to release a load of at least four kilos from this uh, release hook. And that's it. Now you can deliver just about anything with your Inspire 2.